Unbiased News. News that exists. This is Crazy News. Consulate of the People's Republic of China welcomed by Governor Mamba at the capital of Cagayan on February 13. <laughs> Department of Health records 81 new COVID-19 cases, active tally drops to 9,087. <laughs> Philippine Eagles go mutual soaring on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ronnie Alonte revealed that he used to be an unfaithful partner to his real-life girlfriend, Loisa Andal. <laughs> You are watching Blazing News, your news, our business. Broadcasting live from Western Cagayan School of Arts and Trades. Good day, Philippines. Good day, Canada. The nation's latest news. I'm Trisha Jarin Ramos. The country's hottest and sizzling issue. I'm Dolby Banyaga. Delivering nothing but the truth. The People's Republic of China's consulate was welcomed by Governor Mamba in the capital on February 13th. Here's the news in Consulate of the People's Republic of China welcomed by Governor Mamba at the capital of Cagayan on February 13. Cagayan is a peaceful, loving province. We do not want any quarrel with any of our neighbors. We are having a hard enough time helping our people have a better quality of life. This is the message given by Governor Manuel Mamba well welcoming Consul Ren Fang Yang, Consul of Head of Post of Chinese Consulate in Lawag during his visit along with other officials on February 13. Here, the Governor announced the unity in the desire of the people of Cagayan to reopen the province as international gateway for strategic cooperation with China. Consul Fang Yang agreed with the Governor's statement that China is fired and the country is only busy with the economy. The program ended with a quota opportunity for local officials who attended the said visit. This is Daniel J. Kainan reporting your news or business. For our national news, 81 new COVID cases are reported by DOH. The number of active cases falls to 9,087. Here's Alexa M. J. Domingo for more. DOH records 81 new COVID-19 cases, active tally drops to 9,087. The Department of Health on Tuesday recorded 81 new COVID-19 cases while the active tally went down to 9,087. This was the second straight day that fewer than 100 COVID-19 cases were reported daily, even as the total number of cases since the pandemic began in early 2020 stood at 4,074,821. The DOH said the recovery tally rose to 3,999,766 with 23 new recoveries. This is Alexa Domingo reporting, Your News, Our Business. Science and Technology News, Philippine Eagles, Google, Story, and Valentine's Day. Let's take this moment after a short break. Once you log in, there's no turning back. Digital addiction. Are you aware of what's going on in your everyday life? How far can you go in using digital media? Are you an addict? Digital addiction is an impulse control disorder that involves the obsessive use of mobile devices. Welcome to Mobile Legends! Marina, show your time fully. An enemy has been slain. And your brains are at stake. Our turret has been destroyed. Your health is in danger. Do you know what it will cost you? Are you aware of the consequences of it? Wake up and don't let the machine control you. Now we're right back. You're still watching Blazing News. Philippine Eagles go mutual sorry on Valentine's Day. This Philippine Eagle just showed that love is in the air this Valentine's Day. The Philippine Eagle Foundation published images of two Philippine Eagles sorry in Tandem on Tuesday. This is a form of PDA for the birds in Sila na, PDF highlighted other mutual sorry is a public display of affection that in their very illicit nesting sites live in the forest so maybe not as well. Either way, the photos were taken by the Philippine Eagle Foundation senior biologist, Ron Taraya, at the Mount Macabal Nalikosor Conservation Area. For the showbiz news, Ronnie Alonte revealed that he used to be a faithful partner to his real life girlfriend, Loisa Santay. Here's our favorite Chicadora, Kaidalan Balisakan, for the details. Ronnie Alonte confesses to having cheated on Loisa Santay in the past. Alam mo ba yung nga huli mo? Lagpas sa daliri. 
Kanya a lot like you your visit at an episode last February 7 at magandang buhay or beauty so stakes to his girlfriend by San Dami. The couple are known as having one of the most popular fandoms in the entire Philippines. Furthermore, Ron is sharing on this video has completely caught the attention of their fans and followers. Although, a lot of and have been dating for over 6 years, their relationship was only made official in November 2018. Fans up until now enjoyed seeing their favorite couple happy in their sweet social media posts and posts. The two initially reviewed their relationship on I Want Asa in 2018. Before they went public with their romance, they have been dating for 2 years. This is Kyla and Malisakan reporting. Your news are business. The nation's latest news are Trisha Jalene Ramos, the country's hottest and Sicily Michu and Dolby Banyaga. Delivering nothing but the truth. Unbiased news. News that exists. This is Blazing News.